What's up? It's Sunday again. I've done a lot of Burt Life videos on Sunday. Something about it. So these wonderful customers have a dirty coil, and I mean like really dirty, right? So yesterday, these people have their coil cleaned by a company, and it's uh, still really dirty. And what happens is the float switch is clogged when I show up here this morning. So I get a call, float switch is clogged, unit's not running. So he cleaned the coil, overflowed to the float switch, and left it not working. You see what I got here? What, what, what the heck am I doing? I'm gonna blow your mind here. Anyways, they try to call this guy back. Turns out that he lets them know this morning that, or last night, that he doesn't service ACs when there's a problem, he just does cleaning. You would think that that would mean that uh, he must be really good at the cleaning, right? Not so much, you'll find out here. Check it out, let's go in. There it is. That right there is your clean coil. This guy was called out just to clean the coil. So today, you guys are in for a little treat. I'm gonna walk you through my process of doing a cleaning place on a Sunday. Cause you know, when you're working on a Sunday, it's exactly the same as any other day you clean. I actually have a little time. I don't have another call right now. It's pretty mild weather out. First, this guy. cleaning place. Got all the control I need. Bam. Let's show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, no chance I'm going in that dark hole by myself. You guys are coming in here to see this. Make sure you follow what I'm doing here. First step, I'm gonna vacuum everything off of the surface. So even before I put cleaners on it, I'm gonna vacuum off the surface, and then my cleaners will be able to penetrate straight into those coils then, so. Because I know a lot of you are going to ask, I leave the fan on because less stuff falls on my head while I'm doing this first process. And even, so I leave the fan on a lot of times, um, keep things, the small stuff from getting in my eyes and stuff like that. But, you know, just do whatever works for you. Okay, so uh, done most of the coil on both sides. Here's the update. You should be able to see the difference right there. And I'll just vacuum the rest of that out. My coils will be able to uh, drink up the cleaner that I put in there. for some cleaner and some rinsing. All these wires. How come you always get to go out first? Oh, right. Do you want to watch me? Got it. Totally makes sense. Okay, phase one is done. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing off. Probably my favorite for uh, evaporator coils. Sprays in, expands, pushes the dirt loose. It's also self-rinse, so you can leave it on there if you need to. That's what's next. Now, normally, I'll wear a mouth guard, and if you know me, you know exactly how true that is, but uh, got this mic. You gotta be able to hear me. Got this nice, sharp beam. It pushes straight into the coils. I swear, if you guys get caught one more time around my mic wire, it's like you don't even want to hear what I have to say. Dreaming of a white... 
Christmas just like the ones I've never known. Don't get a lot of white Christmas in Florida. So this is as close as it gets. This and a good solid frozen evaporator. I'll catch up with you guys later. So you can see what's starting to happen. Starting to push the dirt out. So it's like actually coming out with the foam. These little bits of dirt in there. Okay, the cleaners are sitting on the coil. This is the part of the story where you take the vacuum outside and hook up to the drain for the rinsing. Busting out the classics. <laughs> but I just can't help myself. Somebody, don't hit the car. I'm locked out. Ah, screw that. So I just dumped a gallon of water when I first got here and that's what came out of the drain after his maintenance. Supposedly he cleaned the coils, which these look pretty good. But anyways, next step, hook up here. And then what we'll have is uh, a lot of water pulling through the drain while I do the rinse on the evaporator coil. Okay, coil jet from Speed Clean. So I'm using to rinse my evaporator coil. I like it, it's portable. It also gives me perfect control over how much water I spray on the coil. I use it for my cleaning places and my mini split cleaning. It's been good. And you can see here, nice control, low volume, but high pressure is what you want on an inside coil have it. Get yourself one of these for cleaning. It'll make a big difference for you. So I'm going to rinse it from the top down, inside out, opposite direction of airflow is what I'm trying to say. And uh, we'll start there. I actually forgot to tell you, but I'm going to go in and spray out the tracks, wipe out the tracks because without those tracks clean, when I'm rinsing, it's just going to overflow. So I'm going to clean out the tracks. Okay, once I have rinsed it well from the um, top down, opposite airflow, I'm gonna take it inside and rinse with a downward angle uh, from the inside. So, let's go. You guys are actually right there in the middle of it getting messy, so. I really appreciate your dedication to what's going on here. Not a lot of people would stay so close in here with me in kind of the lion's den, in the middle of the mess, you know, getting splashed in the face, that sort of thing. Whew, wow, that looks good. Uh, looks so much better. Okay, now it's your turn, buddy. I'm trying to put this camera somewhere. Now, I normally start at the top down, but I'm just trying to demonstrate. See the kind of control I can have with this gun. Right there, speed clean in action. <sighs> Love this stuff. Okay, you guys get what's going on here, so. You keep getting messy and I feel a little bit bad about that. I think you got the gist of it. So first rinse, try to get as much as you can from the opposite direction of the airflow so you don't push a bunch of heavy stuff back into the coil and then rinse it down here, make it look nice. You can show your customer how well you did on their coil and um, then leave some self rinse cleaner on the coil so it continues to stay clean for longer. Talk about filters, their importance and how to use them. Woo, I tell you what, if this kind of thing doesn't turn you on, are you even a real technician? Look at that, look at that coil. Oh, that is so much better. Ugh. That is fun. Cleaning. Big part of what I do. It's what I really enjoy. I think we're done. Okay. It's important. Finish strong. Clean up everything around out here. Make sure it looks nice. Make sure you show the customer before and after photos of what you've done when you're doing a project like this that they can't access. Voila. You're good. You'll have a customer for life. And uh, keep those coils clean. Makes a huge difference for your system. Have a lot of fun doing it like I did. It's probably my favorite project. Get yourself set up and uh, this job will be a lot easier. You won't shy away from doing something like this. Anyways, thanks for joining me Sunday again. Till next time, guys. See ya. Almost forgot. Finish strong. Put some of this drain hand treatment in there. If you've seen my drain video, you know. You know where it's at.
on until you filled up that trap and watched it drain. <laughs> you guys have seen me get distracted on a Sunday before. 